Gareth, the National Intelligence Council in August recommended to President Bush that any attack by special U.S. commandos in the Pakistani tribal areas would destabilize not only the Pakistani military, but even the Pakistani government. A few weeks after that, the first of what could be many commando raids happened in Waziristan. Why and who are the players involved and who pushed for it to happen? Well, this is the result of uh, more than a year of lobbying uh, by a group of military organizations in the United States, military and paramilitary organizations. First of all, you have Special Operations Command, which has become a major player in the politics of the military establishment, particularly since the Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld, put his uh, imprimatur behind it. Rumsfeld hated the CIA. He wanted the Special Operations Command to really replace the CIA clandestine operations in carrying out sort of covert operations by the United States. So he increased the budget of Special Operations Command from $5 billion to $8 billion between 2003 and 2007. They are now a powerful lobbying group within the military paramilitary establishment. They, of course, wanted the responsibility for going into Pakistan, and they lobbied for that, for that policy, ever since the July 2007 National Intelligence Estimate on Al-Qaeda, which established that there was a safe haven for Al-Qaeda in northwest uh, Pakistan. The second outfit that has been lobbying on behalf of this is the CIA's clandestine uh, force, the clandestine uh, operations a branch of the CIA. And they, of course, have been the ones who have done this in the past. They were the ones who went into Afghanistan first, and they've gotten the credit for it. And of course, based on that credit, they wanted to do it again in Pakistan. And they used some of their allies in the media, such as David Ignatius of the Washington Post, to push for the administration to approve broader, uh, uh, the broader CIA authorization for the use of clandestine operations in Pakistan. Up until uh, last year, there were very tight restrictions on what the CIA or anybody else uh, could do within Pakistan. It had required a number of approvals, a number of conditions had to be met, and both the CIA and uh, the Special Operations Command were very frustrated by that. And both sides wanted the restrictions removed, both sides wanted to get it for themselves. So you had both sides really pushing the high policymakers of the Bush administration uh, to give it to them, to give them the authorization to go into Pakistan and carry out commando raids. What is the role of General David Petraeus in all this? Because his central command, uh, command <laughs> starting now in, uh, in September. He, does he want to apply the same counterinsurgency methods that he applied in Iraq in the Pakistani tribal areas with some possible devastating consequences? Absolutely. Uh, David Petraeus was hoping uh, to see the same uh, strategy that he was putting forward in Iraq, in the Sunni uh, region of Iraq, that is buying off uh, Sunni insurgents and then giving them training uh, and getting them, therefore, to fight al-Qaeda uh, to, to the Pakistani tribal areas. And this, very interestingly, is what the Special Operations Command proposed in their proposal to the administration in November of 2007. It actually called for using cash and training with the tribesmen, uh, particularly those which were in the, uh, the force called the Frontier Corps, which is 80,000 strong, locally recruited. Uh, he wanted them to be trained and to be paid off so that they could be suborned to fight al-Qaeda. That, of course, has been turned down by the Pakistani government. They refused to do that. The other part of the SOCOM strategy, though, was, of course, to go in unilaterally if necessary, if possible to go in with the Pakistani military, but to go in unilaterally if necessary and use commando raids to try to target al-Qaeda. Now, the interesting thing is, of course, that SOCOM was aligning itself with Petraeus in making that proposal by suggesting that they could do what Petraeus did uh, in the uh, in, in, in Iraq. And that was a bid to try to get Petraeus' inf uh, influence behind them, because they know that he's very influential with the White House. So I think you're seeing there another alliance, political alliance, that could be used to try to lobby 
on behalf of this policy of raids against uh, supposed al-Qaeda and Taliban targets in Pakistan.